Hello, in this video, I'm going to go over weight painting. So the way that we can attach our geometry to our joints is called um, skinning. And you can get there by going over to skin and bind skin and go to the option box. What this will do is attach our joints to our model so that when we move our joints, it will move our model. So go to edit reset settings. And then what we'll need to do is select your top root joint and then select your geometry and then hit apply and close. Then you should see your joints change a color. And if you move this, your model should move. And um, just to be aware, um, you can't use delete all type history. Do not do this. This will delete your his this will delete your skinning. Um, it will break it. So um, just be aware of that. And let's look at this. So that we can edit our skinning by going over to skin and go to paint skin weights right here. Um, oops. But I need to select my geometry first, then go to skin, paint skin weights. And you'll see something like this. Double click this, and a tool set setting should pop up. I usually drop it down in here, like that. And then you should see a list of your joints and your model changing like this. Um, what this is doing for base B, so if I select base A, You'll see that the colors change or the, the value changes in different places. What this is doing is saying in this joint, wherever it's white, it's going to move the most. And then when it gets darker, the less the influence that joint will have. So if I go look at base B, you'll see that there's a gradation happening. You can go down here and there's a geometry color section. If you click on color ramp, this gives you um, another way of visualizing your influence. So you'll see a blue has a very um, low value of movement for the this joint, which is down here. And then it, when it gets to red, it has the most. So this is useful for very small numbers or do, um, fine tuning things because you can really see when um, you might have influence that you think like it's hard to see these really small numbers a lot of times um, another thing you should know if you click on show numbers if I zoom up on this you might notice each of these numbers is a value that um, is being applied to this vert vertex so what what's happening here and something you should know about weight painting is it's adding a value to the vertex not the face so if i go up and if i want to add a value to this face so i'm painting on there like why isn't it adding it's because you don't really add to faces you add to vertex so if i click on that vertex you see how it changed the color now it's adding a value of 0.1165 to this. So if I go up to 0.7, see that it changes color. So a lot of times students will have problems like trying to white paint because they don't realize that you should be painting on the vertex, not the face, even though it looks like you're painting on the faces. Um, so yeah, so some of the settings here are paint select um, paint select it um, the ones that you'll be using is paint and select um, I'll go over that in a little bit there is options here to um, replace which will replace the value that you paint over to this specific number that's the one I use the most this replace button rep or paint operation there's also add if you're like steadily want to add value um, I don't usually use this so much, um, but it can be useful. And then there's smooth, which will give a gradation. So if I want a blend, I can do that. So it's blending this value down. Um, 
and then scale I have never used so um, let me know if you have a need for it um, and then here's the different profiles um, opacity value uh, I usually just change the value I don't really change the opacity and the flood if you need to flood the whole thing with the va with a um, with a like one or a value basically um, and then I'll turn off color ramp on and off randomly depending on the need if I need it and yeah so that's a good overview I'll go over how our approach on painting this in the next video